Hello and welcome to Warframe Unabridged. I'm your host Finn, and today we conclude our journey through the power kit of Zephyr. If you missed the last one, the link will be in the description below. That being said, we're going to jump right into the first of the six elemental combinations. Element 1, Gas. While this element is usually very powerful versus the Corpus due to the ability to create status that bypasses shields, unfortunately it seems to be lackluster, and the main reason is because the damage instances are very low, and the status, I guess by a extension are not that great either. It provides no crowd control by any stretch of the imagination, but you can stack multiple instances of damage on any number of targets provided they are close. Toxic status damage gains an additional 50% against flesh, which goes perfectly when used against any form of crewmen, but has a penalty when facing robots. Unfortunately, it's one of the more lackluster elemental combos because the gas is against shields, while the health is dealt damage by the toxic. If the damage were greater and producing greater status, it would be more useful, but as you can see, it falls off relatively early. The faction that this benefits most against in terms of status is Corpus, but you're likely to get better DPS versus infestation from the gas-based damage. Elemental 2, Viral. This element deals pretty decent damage but the status is lackluster and provides no crowd control. And eventually, cutting the enemy's health in half is mathematically great, but the pestilence doesn't stack and it doesn't last very long. By the time the status is needed, your damage is likely fallen off. You definitely want to use this with standard tornado to get the most utility out of it, and the faction that this benefits most against will be the Grenier. Elemental 3, Corrosive. As an elemental status that deals no crowd control, I would recommend you use this with standard tornado. While it is very beneficial with a permanent reduction, of 25% each time it invokes a status, the irregularity and exposure to it caused by tornadoes flinging enemies away makes it a substandard way to reduce enemy armor. You will get the greatest DPS out of corrosion tornadoes versus grenade. Element 4, Radiation. Among the elemental combinations, this is one that truly stands out. As you can see, I'm using Funnel Clouds with the Radiation active, which that's a very interesting combination. Not only does it rapidly deal damage per second, but it also confuses enemies and pits them against one another. Since enemies do so, the tornadoes provide no crowd control in and of themselves, but the minor targeting of the tornadoes works best with this element because it will sit on top of them and deal damage per second that they can't be bothered to pay attention to because they're too busy trying to kill one another. Radiation suffers penalties against the corpus, with the exception of robotics once you've gotten past their shields. However, it suffers against a great number of infestation. It does gain a hefty bonus of 75% versus alloy grenier units, which is a huge number of units to be honest. Element 5, Blast. The level of crowd control with blast tornadoes is kind of ridiculous. This is why we have funnel clouds equipped for it. Not only does it enhance the number of damage instances, but it also enhances the number of blast statuses produced. For those of you who may not be aware, every time there is a blast status effect, there is an explosive knockdown to all people within 5 meters. As a result, the magnetic pull of standard tornadoes is kind of a waste of such a powerful status. This can also be applied to recovering enemies, making it one of my favorite statuses to use with tornadoes. Honestly, this is a fantastic status versus any faction, but in terms of damage, the blast doesn't excel. Only versus rollers and heavy infestation. Element 6, Magnetic. This one, do whatever you feel like doing, because it's just not going to deal enough damage to really be of consequence at any kind of higher levels. And the status is barely worth mentioning. With damage types that bypass shields entirely, damage types like the magnetic are kind of severely lackluster, with few, very few exceptions. Do keep in mind that this is the default element though, which may sound strange to many, but I feel that they are kind of referring to the pull of the tornado. Magnetic damage isn't necessarily just magnetic waves, it's pulling damage. It's damage of motion, which is why Vortex also deals magnetic damage. Now this kind of tornado is fine being a standard tornado, and since you don't need to mod in a way that will keep your tornadoes close enough at basic casting for ease of elemental absorption, this is the best kind of tornado to mod for maximum range, where you wind up summoning tornadoes on enemies that are far, far away, possibly still in their spawn point, different rooms, whatever. 
As you can see, this power has a great amount of utility and crowd control and even damage sometimes. I hope that I've shown you that Funnel Clouds is also a worthy mod for her. Zephyr is a great frame, but a lot of people don't take into account how versatile her ultimate is. I realize that some of you may roll your eyes at the following statement, but in the new Strange Quest, the Lotus is that Chroma is one of the most powerful frames because of the same kind of versatility. But he didn't have access to 10 elements. She can have a plethora of different play styles, even in the same mission type. But unfortunately, this concludes our journey through the abilities of Zephyr. If you like the journey, go ahead and hit that like button. If you feel that you want to join me on my next journey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you think that other people may want to join this journey, feel free to hit that share button. And until next time, this is Fen signing off. Thank you.